Hi, my name is Mike, and today I've got uh, an interesting message given to Brother Jeff Byerly uh, on the 27th of May 2019. You can visit his site at Holy Spirit Wind, or you can see it at the Prophecy 444 News site. It's called Prophecy Will Become Tomorrow's Headlines Even Before the Transformation of My Remnant Bride. And this is what was given. My children, the days that you are in are dark and evil lurks around every corner, even in the daylight. Violence, hatred, perversion, madness, chaos and death reign all around you and all these things will grow worse before I return. I call you to know what is coming and to realise that without me you are completely powerless to overcome any of it. Do not be afraid of the things that come. Know that they are coming and put all your faith, hope and trust in me. As the darkness and destruction increases, so will my light and power within my people. My remnant bride will be able to look death and complete destruction and will not fear but realise that I have you in the palm of my hand and that no one can take you out of it. Fear, doubt, unbelief, self-reliance and falling off the ways of man will lead you out of my hand so be warned if you do not trust me and what i say you will be led astray in the days to come men's hearts will fail them for fear of the things that are coming upon the earth i will give those who do not seek me over to strong delusion and they will believe the lies that those who come upon the earth tell them you will move mountains in my name if you trust me no matter what comes. In the coming days, the fiery kickoff event will indeed take place. Prophecy will become tomorrow's headlines, even before the transformation of my remnant bride. My word shall come to pass, every last one. I am not mocked. Can those that have sown death reap life? Can those that have sown war reap peace? Can those that have sown sinful, wicked perversion reap glorious, holy righteousness? Do not be deceived into thinking that you will not see destruction because you will, un you will unless are taken to be with me early in death. That great city Babylon will utterly burn and be overtaken by wave after wave of the sea to cleanse her. The world will be in shock and weep for her. The great city that is named for the fruit of her sin shall reap the harvest of the seeds that she has sown. The city that never sleeps shall be put to rest. She will fall and rise no more. This shall fully open the third seal, and the scroll shall roll out, and the black horse will ride across America and the rich nations of the world. Those filled with oil and wine of my spirit will be provided for as they help others bringing them into repentance. Before me and trusting in faith, what I have said, having peace in the midst of calamity and destruction. This will happen shortly before the complete transformation of my remnant bride. Be aware that once the kickoff event happens, events will come faster than you have ever seen before. Fear not, for I have shortened the days for the sake of my elect. Though you will wonder if I have abandoned you, go to your secret place with me and you will see that measure of my spirit given to you will suddenly be increased. The complete transformation of the remnant bride will take place at the sixth seal. This happens during the three days of darkness. The first fruits shall all be sealed on their foreheads and then they shall help me gather the harvest as I thrust my sharp sickle into the earth. Seek my face in a secret place. Make me your, your dwelling place. Be filled to overflowing with my spirit. Praying in the spirit continuously and I will, uh, hit, uh, will reward you openly. Sorry, Come and let me hide you in me so that we are one, even as I am one, with the Father in spirit. Stay ready in me, Jesus Yeshua. And that's the end of the message. Anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, 
please do so now in prayer of repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.